Malachi chapter 2. He said, I will stand upon my watch and see what you tell me. This is talking about waiting on God. I will stand upon my watch. And I will see what you tell me. And what I will answer when I'm corrected. Then the Lord answered to me, he said, write the vision. That is why he began to write, tell you things. He began to tell you things. Now, most Christians don't spend time with this, our helper. I go to God and say, God, why is it that when I talk, about early, late last year, when I talk to people, they do the opposite. God, what is it? Then I went to God in prayer and he told me that, Francis, they did it to me. I said, how? how? Then I, I showed you the scripture, those of you who are in leadership position. Where Jesus was his disciples, and God began to speak to Jesus. And the disciples said, There's thunder and lightning. They heard thunder and lightning. It's, it's John 12. It's only Jesus who heard that, Son, I will be glorified. Everybody, there's a. So, whilst you are interpreting something, somebody also is interpreting it in another way. Somebody in church was praying. In the house, the person doesn't come to church. And whilst she was praying, she had a vision concerning this church, and sent, they sent it to me. Now, last week, Sunday, after church, I was sitting at the top, and I called somebody, and I said, come and stand by me. And I told this person, this is what God wants to do. The person looked at me and said, keep your up in. It looks like he's a yob. But the truth is that I know what I was talking about. And this week, I've seen about three confirmations from outside. Now, most often, a lot of us, our spirit is not open. So when people say things, we think that, oh, what is this? Uh, give me the verse before this. Piece. They heard a voice. Let's read. Oh, give me 20. Okay, go up. Now, my soul is troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. Jesus went to prayer and was saying, Lord, save me. But for this purpose, I come to this Well, Jesus didn't just go and just wanted a change. Let's go on. 29. Okay, good. Read. Father, read. Everybody go. Father, glorify your name. He didn't say, if I say, save me, but he goes on to say, well, glorify your name. Now, you see, we pray the prayer, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. But we, we want to have the glory. Jesus said, now, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came down from heaven saying, I have both glorified it, and I will glorify it again. Of course, should be from, with your trouble doesn't change my glory. Then verse 29. Therefore, the people who stood by and heard it said that it tended. Others said an angel had spoken to him. They didn't hear anything. They didn't hear anything. So let me ask you a question. Even now that I'm speaking, what are, what are you hearing? Tender and light me. Or Bomichi. Or be able to come out my chair and walk So back to John 16. Am I teaching well? Yeah. I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. You cannot take it. When you see that God seems to be speaking to you in parables, it is because you have not spent enough time with him. When you don't understand what you are going through, you need a mountain experience. You need a one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll get into it very soon. Um, you need a one-on-one -on -one moment with him. If whether you are finding it difficult to adjust to his will, you need a mountain. That's why Jesus spent a lot of time at the mountains. Oh, amen? amen? Now look at verse 12, please. However, when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak about his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. He will tell you things to come. You see, Hezekiah didn't hear of things to come. He was only bothered about what is happening. Sometimes God sees tomorrow and can tell you that, hold on, stay. See, everybody's laughing at me. God says, stay. The one they will laugh at you tomorrow will be bigger than this laugh. Stay.
He will not speak of his own, but whatever he hears, he will speak and will tell you things to come. Verse 14. He will glorify me. I will take of what is mine and declare to you. Now, the truth is many Christians are born again but don't want the Holy Spirit. And if even we have the Holy Spirit, we hardly express the gift of God like speaking in tongues. One of the best things God ever gave us, I always say that, Tongues speaking did not start in the book of Acts. Tongues speaking was the reason why God destroyed the Tower of Babel. Genesis 11, the whole world was one language and one speech. And when God saw that they were going to do the impossible, God said, let me divide the languages. Let me scatter the languages. So, 1 Corinthians 14 says, he that speaks in tongues, speaks mysteries. He doesn't understand it. That is why now the devil doesn't mind you speaking in tongues. As long as your mind is trained. Somebody is speaking in tongues and he's thinking about how you sleep with somebody. Where am I getting money from? So, so would I eat? So when I did close in the service, Rabbi Kabasi, we're a joker. I don't I have I think I have a message, you get it. Tongue speaking is coding. It's what? Coding. What is coding? Those of you who do coding. You come in and see Z Q V two four five six. So what's that? The image that God, if I send you an image from my phone or to your text, you will see figures and letters. Your phone has not been coded, but if you have WhatsApp that has been coded for you, you can see it. The Holy Spirit is the one that decodes the codes of heaven and make it a reality to your understanding. <laughs> so what, when, when God sends a message, you look at what is this? But someone who knows coding will tell you that this time, I'm sure it's a picture. Why is he saying it's a picture? There are certain figures inside that know, but if I can't tell you which exact picture, I can tell you there's a red, there's a this, because you understand certain things. But when the Holy Spirit is in you, it's like you have downloaded, so when you become born again, you download the Holy Ghost in you. You have what it takes to receive certain videos and certain pictures. Is somebody talking to me here? And just like you update your phone or your WhatsApp, you need to update your spirits. You need to do what? How do you update it? Jude 20. Build up your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. I don't know. I keep saying this. I don't know where we learn this thing from that we should speak in tongues to bind devils. It doesn't work. Actually, when you speak in tongues, they don't understand. So why are you? Every witch, every witch in my house, in my house, I bind I say, we're a joker. The only person who understands this thing is God. It's a code. It's a code. So what do you do? You set up. Lord, why am I not married? Then write a vision and make it plain. Then the Lord is speaking to you. You don't think. You write. He's writing. You are too arrogant. He's recording that thing for you. So when you feel, say, you spirit of anger, go. Now you leave somebody say, look at his face. So oh, forgive. So you are you 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 are downloading, you are, you understand me? You are downloading the thing on your system, but you are not connected. Yesterday I was downloading, they said new update. Me, I like the new update. I was seeing this update on my phone, not knowing when I left, it has disconnected from Wi-Fi. So I came back, it's a pause. I had to go back. So sometimes when certain things come to mind. Your decoding, your downloading is on pause. 
You, and pause is so difficult because pause, total work done, zero. You don't know what you have downloaded until it is over. And if you are lucky Sunday, it will continue. On other days, it will restart. Total work done, zero. Sometimes you can call, you can be loading and the free light off. Data exhausted. And they will tell you, do not turn the PC off. Hey. So you must just say in the present, because one idea was you were busy, and let this body be came into your mind, pa, light off. The words you speak to the Sweet, where are you? I was praying and you came to mind. I wanted to check if you were okay. Oh, I'm okay. Okay, 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 okay. Then you put the phone. You are lost. You are lost. You need to go back and do a re coding. I think I'm not preaching well. <laughs> then the funny thing is, say that I have been praying. There's no answer. Please, no. Sometimes what you are loading is big. You didn't check. You need two hours. And sometimes whilst you are you are downloading, and some things if you are downloading, or when no, even the app downloading something is not as painful as when you put it on the phone, it is not going to get into the phone itself. It is in the phone, but it's not yet gotten into it. And when it's getting into it, the whole phone freezes, nothing works. So when you are in that mood, your enemies can be laughing at look at your life, nothing is working. Don't get worried because you are upgrading your life. An upgrade, oh God. <laughs> You are upgrading. At this level, you are not working in the thousand Ghana cities range. If it's thousand Ghana cities, you can still live there. But at this level, you are getting to the tens of dollars, thousands of dollars. And so at this rate, it's like life has become, you have put all your capital into something. So now you don't even have food to eat. But you know that when the harvest time comes, you'll be smiling. May God make us smile. So, I don't have time. So, in first, no, let me jump. Matthew chapter 17. You can also have that same story for better understanding in Mark chapter 9. But I like the Matthew 17 version of this story. Jesus had, if you go to Matthew 16, Peter had just said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus has said, Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I'm sure some of the disciples will be wondering, um, whether this thing is true or not. So Jesus speak Peter, James, and John. Hear me, in life, when you see that God is interested in certain people, make friends with them, you will always go along. He didn't hear me. Peter was the one that Jesus encountered at the riverside, you remember? On the fish. And he was the one that began his partners to come and help him with the business. I don't know if you remember. But the interesting thing is that sometimes, most times, the company you keep determines how fast you go in life. Because sometimes the company you keep, if they are not called, you can't be called. When Jesus, Peter said that the Christ, Jesus wanted to show Peter that what he said, that I said, it is not flesh and blood as revealed to Israel. Because you see, if we read John, first John, he said, the things that our, hand, our eyes have seen, that we've heard, that our hands have handled. That is what we declare to you. Sometimes hearing it, knowing it in your spirit is not enough until you see it. So Jesus, you see, it's not enough for you to receive a prophecy. You will make it. You won't see yourself making it. And until you see it, you don't have it. That is why a praying person whose mind is not concentrated on their prayer will not have an answer. If I'm praying for church growth, I begin to pray, I begin to pray, I begin to see things that's not making the church grow. I'm praying and I'm seeing the room filled. If I can't see it, that's why prayer is a thing. You don't say that, may we empire. I won't empire you. No, you don't finish praying. So in Matthew 17, from verse number one, can we go there? Now, after six days, Jesus. Took who? Let's read together. Go. 
My query is this. Let me hear the treble, alto, tenor, bass, soprano. Go. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on a mountain by. Hold on. By. By. Let me tell you this. I learned this from Jesus. Jesus didn't pray with people publicly. Every prayer of Jesus was personal. We only pray together to start our engine. But you must learn to have a personal time. Some of if you don't come to church, you don't pray. He took them up on a high mountain. Far away. You suffer to get there. He took them on a high mountain. Patterns are developed on mountains. I said it from the beginning. New levels are developed on mountains. High mountain and set them by themselves. By themselves. Can you be by yourself? Some of you, you, your big problem is that you can never be by yourself. You always want somebody around. If nobody is there, your phone, long distance, must I mean, you can't just be there. Verse 2, quickly. And he was transfigured before them. Wait a minute. Four people go to a mountain top. One gets transfigured. What happened to the other three? Being at the mountain top doesn't mean you get results. They went to sleep. Interestingly, most of us like Peter, James, and John. You every prayer you will sleep. You are wondering why you didn't change in prayer. I repeat, every prayer you sleep. The only time you don't sleep is when you are watching your favorite movie. Let me tell you something here. Watch what you sleep on. It's a sign of your high or your low. Now, personally, if I'm watching something and I'm not interested, I feel sleepy. Anytime you are doing something and you are feeling sleepy, it's a sign that that thing is not part of you. It's not your spirit. Is it true or is it not true? If that thing is interesting, when ah, you wake up, sleep will not come. When we were young, we used to watch Indian movies. You can sit down and forget it's 12 o'clock, you have to eat. Shaka and Anthony. Some of you were too young. And the only time you got up to go and urinate is when you are big, gung, 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 their Indian song. You know, they can't dance. Ah. So when they started dancing, then you get up and go and urinate, hoping to come back. You don't have to. But the Indian movie was very artificial. Somebody can be falling down here. Somebody that mom will be, will fly. Ah. And why are you actually there? And get there and hold the person before the person falls. So you don't miss any action. And when they hit something, boom, boom, boom. Is it true? Hey, you don't skip on that one. If you forget food. Some of you can watch this series that has come. And you forget you have to eat. You close, you lock your door and say, until I finish this one, I'm not going. What are some of the series? What's the name? My, no, no, not the one they are shown on TV. There's one, it's action. You can, you can watch it for five days non-stop. Oh. I've, I've had, help me. I don't say you have been watching it. <laughs> If you tell me one, I remember some. I've seen the titles before. You watch. Uh, no, 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 those ones. No, those ones. These are movies you can watch. And people sit there and they watch. And if you ask the child, where are they? Are they home? Are they home? Hey, five days, you are there home. Your girl visits you five days, you are in the room. Then you realize that whenever you get involved, you start yawning, you start sleeping, you should know that it's not part of you. 
So if you see success and you are young and sleeping, you know that you can't be successful. It won't work. Whatever makes you sleepy should tell you where your purpose is driven to. These people say they want, they have confessed Christ as Lord. He takes them to the mountain. At the mountain, they are sleeping. But whilst they were sleeping, somebody was being transfigured. A person who spends time with God will always be transfigured. What does it mean to be transfigured? It means to be translated to another level. Some glory falls on you. That takes your next height. You come out of the place you are not like you used to be. People see you and say, oh, where have you been? It's not that you've grown lean. And I don't mean waiting on God is always about fasting and not eating. No, it's simply spending time with God in communication. His clothes became as white as the light. Look at this. It wasn't just his body. His dress. I've been there several times. I remember this story about this guy called Francis that my old suit, I stopped wearing. I stopped wearing them for five, six years or so. And one day I came and I dashed the suits. He, I, he took one. When he was going, of course, he, he forgot it because it's not for him. He forgot a suit in Trotro. And the Trotro driver wore the suit. He began to burn with fire. The driver burned with fire. So they went to look for him and gave him the dress back. Because there, there's something in the suit. Now, there's a glory that comes on you because you spend time. That even, the Bible said, the aprons and handkerchiefs of Paul became powerful. You spend so much time with God that your products become powerful. Whatever you sell, when people touch it, if people buy your achomo, when they eat the achomo, fire blood vanishes. Everybody will come and buy your achomo because something has moved from your body to your product. You sow. You sow. The anointing comes on you and comes on the things you have sown. People wear their dress and people are proposing to them, saying, hey, what is this? Because I me, mean, nobody proposes to you. But anytime I wear your dress, anytime I wear your dress, I will sew with you forever. What's your price? I've increased it. Oh, please. Now they are making you. But you are an ordinary person because you have not spent nothing is being transmitted from your body to your things. Can we continue? Yes. Let's be fast. So he was transfigured before them. He says, began to shoot. Now give me verse 3. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them talking with him. Now note this. Moses and Elijah appeared to them talking with him. You see, they came, they never spoke to Peter, James, and John because they were sleeping. You are not getting results because you go into prayer sleeping. Why did Moses and Elijah come? Two things. Number one, the Jews believed that the greatest prophet was Elijah. The greatest man, um, this thing, um, lawgiver was Moses. So I second, I say that Moses and Elijah appeared because at this day, God gives you, confirms your prophetic word. Number two, gives you instructions for your next level. You meet a Moses who is giving you an instruction for your next level. And you meet an Elijah who is telling the mind of God for your next level. Meanwhile, the others who went to prayer with you are still sleeping and doing whatever. What, what is it that we see? When your light begins to shine, your light begins to wake people up. And when people wake up, some of them become jealous. And we were all the same until we got to the mountain. The only time I know whether you are praying or not is the result or the reward we get after the prayer. Because if we prayed or prayed two hours and I have broken through and you have not broken through, it's most likely when you were praying, your mind was somewhere. Your mind was asleep. Who has appeared to you since you started praying? An old person who used to be with my mom Young lady, 
he sent me a message. I was shocked. He said, I was in trouble, but every day I pass by this road, I see your signboard. I was in trouble. I didn't know what to do. I prayed. In the night, I saw you. You came to my room. You poured oil on me. I said, you were a thief. I have not seen you for about 25 years. He said, by me, I see you. I see your signboard every day. When I pass, I tell people, this is my brother. And when God wanted to deliver her, I appeared in her dream, pouring oil on her. And she woke up and everything is gone. Now, the difference is this, is that, I don't have time, let me end. Who has appeared to you since you went into prayer? Who appeared? You go into prayer, you will dream and see Lucifer. The witch in your family. Of course, in a prayer, I bind every witch, I bind every demon, all the strongholds of the enemy. Those people are not your welfare. You get out of the prayer meeting. If you read on, Jesus came down, saw a demon that had molested a child. He said, get out. And the demon, because it was after that mountain experience, that you come out dealing with the powers of darkness that affect you. You don't deal with the powers of darkness in prayer. So when Peter and James got up from the dream, so as, as, as I said, from their sleep, Peter motioned James, John, and they're like, wow, look at him. Look at him, he has changed. Then a voice came from heaven that this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. The only time God confirms his word, telling people to help you, assist you, if you spend time with him, naturally your partners will grow to love you. Marriages that don't work, businesses that are not working, you spend time in the place with God. You see that God goes to speak to the people on your behalf. Peter, James, and John had it clear. This, Jesus knew that he was the son of God already. It was the three of them that did that you know. And they know what they began to do. They began to say, let's be here. Don't go anywhere. Jesus, let's keep you here. They decided to do put and put Jesus in. And put Moses in. And put this thing in. Let me tell you this. People can, oh Jesus, can I say this? People can never have your Moses or have your Elijah until they have accepted you. You might not like me, but you might like my anointing. But until you like me, you can't have my anointing. As soon as they decided to put the three in a, in a boot, Moses vanished. Elijah vanished. It was left with Jesus. And Jesus told them, what you have seen here, don't tell anybody. There are some things it's for only you. Keep it to yourself. Because you know why? If they go telling people, they will stone them. Because certain revelations also come because of who you associate with. I have spent time to pray with some people before. There's nobody I spent time to pray with. I'm not saying praying for you. I'm saying praying with you. Where we all meet and we give two, three prayer topics. Or we give one prayer topic. Let's go. I mean, if you are praying with me, some of you have done it lately with me. There's no prayer topic. Anytime you see a prayer topic in a meeting, the Holy Ghost is not in charge. It is man. When the Holy Ghost is in charge, you raise one topic. You start. You should ask you are going. The Holy Ghost start giving you prayer here. He's giving me where to pray. You just give me where to pray. As you are going, pass here, pass here. We are in the spirit. But because you are not in the spirit, the leader must stop and say, prayer points to which God has given him. Because you, you didn't hear from heaven. Or you were not connected to the leader. Peter, James, and John were even sleeping. But in the midst of their sleep, the glory that came down made them wake up. Let me tell you this. When you start breaking through, through spending time with God on the mountain, 
make sure that people don't make a God of you. Because when they make a God of you, you end up not going to your next mountain. If they have put Peter, Jesus, and the this on the mountain, what would have happened is that Jesus would not have died. He to save us. There is more in you than what people are clapping for you for. They are clapping. Doesn't mean that's the end of you. Let it be an appreciative for the moment. But know that the more you spend time with God on your mountain, the more it gives you parties that breaks parties. Let's be on our feet. Lift up your voice and begin to pray to God briefly.